Hello guys, welcome to my channel. You can move to Australia for free and I'm going to prove it to you, okay? The Victorian government is offering 10,000 Australian dollars for relocation, okay? So I'm going to show you the jobs or the kind of jobs that you should apply to in which you will be eligible to earn this amount in look in relocation so i just wanted to follow me carefully now if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit that subscribe button as you can see i've got lots of content on my channel okay so this is the promise brenner channel i'm changing lives and you might just be the next life that i'm going to change having traveled to several countries outside my home country and lived in three of them i'm still living in the third one I have the necessary um, experience, okay, to help you choose to make the right choice and help you find the right opportunity to move to. So ensure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And if you're excited about this opportunity that I'm going to share, please give me a thumb up on this video, all right? Okay, without wasting your time, let's delve into what we have for today. So this is the website I would recommend you to look at. I'm going to put in the description below. When I say description, it means, uh, let's say, for example, if I click on this video now, so if I click on this video uh, and I say that I put a link in the description, it means that um, I'm simply telling you to come down here Okay, just below the video, after you've subscribed and liked the video, you just come here and you can see the link, for example. This is the link uh, for this uh, application. Okay, so this is what um, this is what I mean, all right? So um, this is what I'm asking you to do after you've watched the video. So before then, please watch carefully. Okay, so this website, I'm going to put it in the description and it is the Austin Health. Now, uh, to navigate this website, to show you what I want to show you. So I'm going to click on career section. So after I've clicked on the career section, then I come and click on this place, international recruitment. So we welcome applications from overseas health professionals who are looking to move to Australia. Now, um, if you're, even if you're not a health professional, um, there's something I see that is not, uh, I don't think it's really, really deep into health. So probably you might have a chance to apply. So regardless of your background, I want you to pay in attention and watch me till the end of this video to see if there's something you can also apply for yourself, okay? All right, so follow me carefully as I click on this international recruitment. So when I click on it, um, it's gonna bring me to where I wanna um, explain, all right? So now we welcome applications from overseas health insurance, I mean health professionals who are looking to move to Australia. So mark the keyword looking to move to Australia. So they're supporting relocation because there are a lot of companies out there abroad that they don't really care about relocation. They're only focusing on those in their in their home country. Okay, so mark that word <clears throat> or mark that sentence. Now, um, Austin Health is one of the Australia's major health services based in Melbourne, Northeast, 15 kilometers from the CBD. Okay, now um, they are... 11,000 staff work across four campuses in three locations. Now, these are the campuses or, or three locations, okay? Now, uh, look at this place. Um, now, Australia is a beautiful place. You know, it's no secret that it's a beautiful place. Like, uh, it's no secret that why Melbourne has been voted the world's most livable <clears throat> city multiple times. Wow, just imagine the accolade, the award given to it the world most livable city and you know the art the culture the sporting capital of australia you know these things are amazing you know so melbourne has highly diverse population with over a third of um u.s born overseas and you know a lot of them are you know uh, and uh, they have a strong foodie culture with um every variety of cuisine on offer now let's come here which is where I wanted to pay in attention and look carefully. Now, the location assistance from the Victorian government. The Victorian government is offering relocation to it. I mean, it's offering a travel allowance to help with the relocation cost. And the allowance is 10,000 Australian dollars for health and mental, and mental health workers commencing through to June 2023. Now, I wanted to 
to mark this sentence okay so you for you to be eligible to earn this uh relocation allowance you have to be applying for job and be accepted in the area of health and mental health and it is in june okay commencing in june this year all right very important this allowance is available to international recruits new arrivals to australia and also applies to australian citizens returning from overseas so basically, you have to be have gotten this job, and when you move to Australia, then they will give you this amount. So it's not like they're going to pay this amount before you move. So because they say new arrivals to Australia, so you have to have arrived, okay? But it's worth it, you know that you've gotten the job, and you know that we are, all the money you're spending, they're going to reimburse you back. So it's worth it, okay? So now what um. What Austin Health can offer you? Now, pay attention. Before I go into these ones, um, actually, there's something I want to show you. Okay, yeah, there's something I want to show you. Now, we understand that moving overseas is a big undertaking, so we are here to support you, make this transition as easy as possible, and uh, they're offering the following assistance and benefit to you. Now, they support you with Australian visa options and costs. Okay, wow, this is good. They will support you with the Australian visa, you know? The, you know, they can, you know, they will help you with all these things, you know, guide you through them and the cost and blah, blah, blah. Then a comprehensive financial relocation package to assist with your move, okay, which may include allowances for partners and or dependent. Now, look at this sentence carefully. See, a comprehensive financial um, uh, relocation package to assist with your move. They didn't say with, with your move and your family. But it says, which may include allowances for partners and dependents. Now, it remains to be seen as to whether you can move together with your family. Now, if you want to know, find out all these things, um, you can just simply email them to know if you can move with your family together or not. But what I know is that if you're there in Australia, you've, you've relocated there, then there's a comprehensive package for your dependents. Whether you have a family back home, they are going to... You know, it's just like uh, like an allowance, allowance for your partner or for your, you know, your dependents back home, okay, which is good. So, um, yeah, I, I don't want to read all these things because there are a couple of things I want to show you. So when you look at them, you can read these things. There are a lot of, there are a couple of benefits here, okay, a couple of benefits here. And uh, you just need to read it, like, from the first one, support with Australian visa options and cost and so on. All right, so these are the main things I wanted to show you here. Now, just to give you an overview of what um, where Melbourne, where I mean this um, this uh, Victoria, Victorian government comes about. Now, uh, Victoria is uh, okay. Look at what they say here. Victoria, okay. Victoria is the capital city of the Canadian province of British Columbia. Now, British Columbia is the province. It's a province in in Australia, and Victoria is a city, is the, is the capital city of, of British Columbia, okay? You understand what I mean? So that is how it works. Now, where is Melbourne? Melbourne is, is the coastal capital of the southern, southeastern Australia state of Victoria. So we have British Columbia, then we have Victoria, the, we have Victoria City, capital city of British Columbia, then we have Melbourne, you get it under Victoria. So this is how it works. This is how these things link up. Okay. Then we need to apply. How do we apply now? Okay. There are a couple of things I would like you to know here. So there are types of roles that they have available. Uh, for example, they have nursing, mental health, allied um, health, medical roles. So for you to find out more, you need to click on find job vacancies. And also this is where you can email them. Okay. For depending on the on what profession you want to apply to you can also email them here i'm don't be quick to go because, I, because i'm going to show you how to apply okay if you're still watching me and you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell and if this content is inspiring please give me a thumb up all right now if you want to find out more you can just click on this um find uh job vacancies i'm going to show you more things um that you know okay that I would like you to know. 
So you, when you click on this place, you can see um, different roles here. And um, this is this was where I was saying that if you're not into health, like you're not really into health, so probably this one, admin and support, might be, you know, you might be able to apply to this ones, okay? So if, because if you look at this place, you can see administration clerk. So a clerk in a health facility, um, capital development officer, clerical team leader, you know. So you see that some of these ones are in the admin part. And so I feel like probably you can also apply if you're not um, deeply into health. For example, HR, consultant, you know. So if a uh, project director, so if you want to apply, for example, to HR consultant, so you click on this one. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to where you can apply. So you read the job description. If you feel like you qualify, okay, if you feel like you qualify for it, then you come and you come here and click apply. Okay. So this is how you can go about it. Okay. Now, um, so a couple of things I want to show you here. A uh, couple of things I want to show you here. Now, the skilled occupation list includes uh yes. Okay, for now, eligibility. This program is an opportunity for health professionals who are currently living overseas, which may include Australian citizens returning home or non-residents who meet the Commonwealth visa requirements. Okay, now I also uh, put it here, some of the things here. I'm going to go to that place later on. So, and um, these are international or international candidate whose occupation, sorry, is on the skilled occupation list now what are what are these skilled occupation lists i'm going to show you they are here okay these are the general practitioner uh hospital pharmacies industrial pharmacies medical laboratory scientists uh medical practitioners author um authorities or protectist psychiatrist registered nurse social worker etc okay all right, so I'm going to put this link in the description so that you can see it for yourself. Okay, very important. You have to know these things. Very, very important. Now, have secured a job with the Victorian Health Service because we are, we are looking at eligibility now for you to benefit. Okay, so you must have secured a job with the Victorian Health Service, which I've already shown you one way to secure a job. I'm going to show you also how to apply to mental, um, those jobs in the mental or in the health sector. Okay. Right, so you must have secured a job with the Victorian Health uh, Service uh, between 1st April 2022 and 20th June 2023, and intend to work within the uh, Victorian public health system for at least two years and can access relevant Australian registration or accreditation, accre accre uh, accre accreditation for their profession. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so you read these things for yourself if you feel like you qualify. Now, what are these uh, skilled uh, visa? I mean, skilled occupation list. So the following visas are available to individuals who are qualified to work or train in an eligible uh, skilled occupation in Australia and can meet all the other requirements. Now, employer nomination scheme visa, regional sponsorship migration scheme visa, skilled independent visa, um, skilled nominated visa, training visa, etc. Okay, these are the kind of visas that you can apply. So um, when you get the job, they will tell you, I'm, I'm sure that there will be a, somebody will be able to tell you the kind of visa you should apply to. Okay, but these are just for information purposes so that you will be aware of these things. Okay, very important. Very, very important. So uh, now um, there are a couple of things here. The Regional Mental Health Workforce Incentives, um, they are here. Okay, the incentives are here. Uh, integration support for workers and their families, workforce relocation and incentives grants, um, support for promotion jobs and incentives program, service eligibility grant scope, uh, grant administration. If you want to look at mental health vacancies, you can click on here. But I think I already have them here, okay, just to save time. So these are the mental health vacancies here in Victoria. So um, you can see them here. Um, they are given here. In fact, this one is even 20,000 Australian dollars, the location incentive available. Wow. So there are even the ones that have more, more than 10,000. So it's, look at this one, uh, 
like 25,000 relocation bonus uh, incentive available. You know, different ones. This look at this one, 25,000. So if you want to apply to any of them, uh, you can just click on, for example, if you click on this one, for example, uh, it's going to take you. I know that it's going to take us to. If you read and you feel like this is what you want, you can click on this place. I know that it's going to take you to another place, but um, don't worry, I'm going to show you what to do. So it still took us to this place where you know it's just like general stuff. So we have a uh, um, different things here. For example, working at uh, Bendigo Health, volunteering, allied health careers, and so on. So these are health stuff, you know. So you can still click on this current vacancy. So when you click on this current vacancy, then don't worry, I'm going to make it simple for you. I'm going to put the link in such a way that it will be easy for you to find these things. You don't need to stress yourself. So you can see that now it's more um, better here. So if you want to apply to any of them, for example, if you want to apply to, um, to registered midwife, for example, so you click on this, okay? When you click on this, it's going to take us to um, this particular place. So you can see it here. So you read, read these things, the job description and everything. If you qualify, then you can come here and click on this apply. So when you click on this apply, then um, just follow the instruction. And uh, if you follow the instruction, then next thing you need to do is to enter your email address. When you enter your email address, then you click apply now. Okay, then um, this page will open where you need to put your title, if you're Mr., then first name, preferred name, surname, your phone number, preferred phone number, etc. And after you've done that, of course, there are different, after you've done this one, you, you fill this one, you fill this one, you fill this one, you fill everything, then you go to next. Like just like when you finish this one, you go to next, and I think it will take you to this one, and so on. After you've done that, and I think uh, you would uh, you would have finished your application and uh, be able to submit. Okay, um, if there's an option to submit or to just it might just be there for you. Yeah, so that is it. And uh, to prove that uh, ten thousand Australian dollars is enough for you, you know, like it's more than enough for you to relocate, whether you are located from Africa. Let me prove it to you. So let's check, for example, um, how much, uh, how much, or let's say from traveling from, um, let's say, Lagos, Nigeria to Melbourne. Okay. If we're traveling to Melbourne, let's look at how much, um, for example, let's look at flights. How much the flight will cost you okay so if you look at this um cheap flights to melbourne from lagos let's look at this one so you, you can see you're even seeing two thousand something australian dollars you know just look at look at how cheap it is one thousand something and they're saying that they are, they are going to give you ten thousand and you've seen the jobs i showed you some of them are twenty thousand location incentive twenty five thousand so just this is this is your trip, and just imagine if even if you're traveling with your family, it's still going to be enough for you. Okay, so yeah, I think I've proven to you that it is free. Your relocation is free because they're going to reimburse you your your the cost of what you spent in relocating there. So that will be when you reach there, they will, they will reimburse you. So if you if you look at it in the on the grand scheme of things. You know, it's more than enough for you, and it is it's even more than what you've spent in relocating to Australia. Yeah, so that would be it. Bro. Uh, I mean, about this content. If you have any question, uh, put in the comment section below. And remember that you can also contact them. Okay, you can contact them. All right. If you have any question, you can contact them. Click on this place. I'm gonna also try to put something where you can. Uh, yeah, but even if I don't, you can just come here and uh, look at their emails and uh, ask them any question. You know, this is especially for those who are in the health sector, but even if you're not in the health sector, you, you, you're, you've seen that there are other ones like HR, project manager, probably like team lead, 
So probably if you don't have background in health, maybe they might accept you. Okay, so I try to open it to every other person so that you can try, you know. There's no harm in trying. And um, I'm happy that you watched till this time. Okay, and I wish you the best. I hope that your applications will be successful and uh, you get to, you know, be able to move to your dream country and live your dream life. You know, very important. And uh, thank you so much for watching and staying till this time. Till I come your way again, have a great time. And if you haven't subscribed, kindly hit that subscribe button, okay? And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I drop content. And if you enjoy this video, kindly like this video and please share it with other people, all right? Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.